guys kids are any creeps. What the hell is this? I don't know. What the fuck was that? Yo! Stop playing around, man. Just get out. I'm not playing around. There's something in the water. What do you mean there's something I in the water? I don't know. There's just something in the fucking water. Yo! Yo! Aloha. Right. Man, you're island man. Let me alive from Hawaii here on the island of Oahu bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, well, you know, it's been up almost a week now uh, since I saw Alien Romulus. And uh, you know, if you hadn't seen it, I've uh, put my review on the Instagram right after the movie pretty much. Um, and well, without further ado, I'll go ahead and give you my review. Remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And for Alien Romulus, it is overall a shock a thumbs down. Uh, now this is a bit of contention with uh, some of my friends and family. <laughs> um, my cousin, he enjoyed it. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, she enjoyed it. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that it's filmed Poorly. Uh, it is filmed very nicely. Uh, the effects in it are, are pretty good. Um, where I give it the shock of thumbs down and where uh, I think Rotten Tomatoes uh, has it and definitely the box office where it's only got a uh, $41 million domestic after the opening box office for last weekend um, and $100 million worldwide. Uh, still under um, Alien, well, still under Prometheus, which is the highest rated uh, box office uh, movie for any of the Aliens franchise. Um, I've got to say, what I really didn't like about it was the story. Uh, basically, I was looking forward to seeing a new story, a new chapter in this Aliens world, in this Aliens uh, Romulus uh, world, uh, in the Aliens franchise, and we don't get that. Uh, basically, this movie takes place between uh, Sigourney Weaver's first movie in the 1979, Aliens, and uh, Aliens... Well, Alien and then Aliens. Uh, so in between those two movies, uh, as a little bit of spoilers, um, a the company picks up the alien that Sigourney Weaver blasts into space at the end of Aliens. Uh, you know, the first movie. Uh, and it survives, so they get it and they experiment it on it very much. Very much like uh, what they were doing in Josh Whedon's Alien Resurrection. I believe that was Aliens 4 movie. Um, so essentially, it is a rehashing, a retelling of that story uh, combined with little sprinkles of aliens. You know, you get even some lines from aliens. You get the famous, get away from her, you bitch line that Sigourney Weaver gives that another character in this movie gives to an alien after shooting uh, an alien. Um, you get midgets of Prometheus, which, you know, Ridley Scott even, even said that Prometheus was not supposed to be anything to do with aliens. The studio kind of forced him into putting aliens or making it an alien's origin story. Uh, so, you know, honestly, the alien Prometheus vibe has never really fit, uh, you know, in the aliens franchise overall and actually has actually weakened it with 
uh, the engineers just simply creating uh, the goo that David the android eventually turns into the aliens uh, because he's upset at humanity uh, for forcing him to be a servant for all those years essentially um, now that's not to say that aliens Romulus doesn't have some good moments the best moments are when uh, they do a deep fake or AI generated uh, they bring back the dead actor Ian Holmes, the android who played in the first movie, Alien, uh, who uh, kind of went against the crew on company orders. Uh, another one of those androids is in Alien Romulus. And uh, honestly, he's the best part, along with, again, like Prometheus, like Alien Covenant, uh, the android David. Uh, but there is a new... Uh, Android uh, in this um, that definitely has the most character development and is the most maybe relatable and likable of all the characters on uh, Aliens uh, Romulus. Uh, so overall, you know, despite decent special effects, um, you know, I give it a shock of thumbs down for the rehashing the retelling of the story. I wanted something new. Uh, David Al Alvarez uh, does an okay job visually, but again, it's the story that fails him. Um, very much, I think, like his Evil Dead uh, remake. Um, I would have preferred to see the District 9 uh, director's uh, interpretation of... of Aliens and seeing how, what he could have done with the story that to me might have taken it in a new direction other than the rehash of the Ridley Scott, you know, pretty much uh, all the other alien movies and forcing it into this mold. Uh, again, for me, the lack of originality, despite again the decent special effects, just was not enough to save this movie to, for me to give it a shock of thumbs up. So it is overall a shock of thumbs down for Aliens Romulus. Um, you know, true diehard Aliens fans will enjoy this movie uh, just because of the sheer spectacle. But even they, and you know who I'm talking about, <laughs> have indicated that there are some serious weak moments, especially near the end. Uh, so there you have it. Shock of thumbs down overall for Aliens Romulus. Uh, definitely worth streaming at home when it hits one of your services, uh, but I didn't think it was worth the, the money at the box office. You might want to, uh, you know, wait yourself if you're on the fence. If you're a diehard uh, Aliens fan, you'll definitely want to check it out still, uh, but go into it aware that, you know, you've been told this tale before. And you're going to be, get told it again, <laughs> apparently. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where they go with this. I don't think David Alvarez is going to get another crack at the Aliens franchise for its underperforming box office. Uh, it did get number one, but Wolverine, Deadpool had been there for three weeks at number one, so it was bound to fall. And honestly, Wolverine, Deadpool might... Uh, creep back up on it after audiences are overall dissatisfied with it. Uh, well, that's my opinion. Uh, that's my rating. Shock of thumbs down for Alien Romulus uh, overall. Just wait for streaming, and I've given you my reasons why. Unless you're a diehard fan, you might love it. All right. Aloha and mahalo.